Last year, the only known wild jaguar in the United States was captured in a trap and euthanized by Arizona wildlife authorities. The death of the jaguar, referred to as Macho B, triggered a federal investigation that found violations of the procedures that are meant to protect endangered species. We have seen that since this jaguar died, now it's very clear how many things were not planned. I think it was a very rushed decision, and I think it was not completely rational, and I think we lost a lot from this jaguar. Jaguars are the biggest cats in the New World, existing from South America into the southern fringes of the United States. Recent evidence of the cats in the Sky Island District of southern Arizona and New Mexico resulted in endangered species protection in 1997. A full recovery plan normally mandated by the Endangered Species Act was never instituted. There was never any focus on the recovery of the animal. There were never any um, policy decisions or land management decisions that came out of it that, that would aid the jaguar's recovery. And those are the kind of things we want to see through the law. In 2006, laws that protect land and animals along the Mexican border, including the Endangered Species Act, were tossed aside by the Secure Fence Act. The resulting border wall, capable of stopping everything from a pygmy owl to a 10-ton truck, now exists along 600 miles of the Mexico-U.S. border. It's extremely important to recognize that connectivity across the landscape is a key issue here. Our jaguars here depend on a source population in northern Mexico that are dispersing up to the United States, looking for habitat, looking for mates, looking to establish uh, new territories. And if they can't get through that border wall, they're not going to come here. The death of Macho B has increased awareness of the jaguar. Conservationists say a comprehensive recovery plan establishing large areas of habitat and a revisiting of laws affecting wildlife along the Mexican border are critical to the jaguar's survival. Some of the best things that could happen for jaguars is that human attitudes change towards the side of being more tolerant of predators living in the land that they have occupied for many years. For This American Land, I'm Bruce Burkhardt.